Around the world, Henry Kissinger is leaving a legacy of war crimes. In his eight years at the helm of U.S. foreign policy, Henry Kissinger's unique brand of real political diplomacy was blamed for genocides, massacres, rape and torture on an industrial scale. The architect of U.S. efforts to contain the Soviet Union during the Cold War prioritized ideology over morality and was responsible for the deaths of three to four million people between the years of 1969 and 1976. He advocated an interventionist foreign policy as Secretary of State under the Nixon and Ford administration, which influenced the ideas of a subsequent generation of neocons. 1. The Cambodian Secret Bombing Cambodia. Nowhere has the impact of Kissinger's influence been more keenly felt than in Cambodia, where his role in expanding the Vietnam War through a secret bombing campaign in 1969 and ground incursion by U.S. forces the following year leaves a festering wound on the Southeast Asian nation to this day. The United States dropped over 540,000 tons of bombs in a campaign known as Operation Menu, which he and then-President Nixon pursued without the backing or knowledge of Congress in an effort to destroy the Khmer Rouge. The U.S. was not at war with Cambodia, but Kissinger felt the barbaric operation was needed to prevent the Khmer Rouge from supporting the communist North Vietnamese army. The fissures from the disastrous military campaign led to an eight-year civil war between the Cambodian government and the genocidal Khmer Rouge regime led by Pol Pot. The war killed an estimated 275,000 to 310,000 people, displaced millions, and destroyed a fifth of the country. In declassified transcripts of telephone conversations from 1970, Kissinger spoke to Nixon about the situation in Cambodia before relaying the following order to his deputy Alexander Haig. He wanted a massive bombing campaign in Cambodia. It's an order, it's to be done. Anything that flies, on anything that moves. You got that. At the age of 90, and in the face of overwhelming evidence to the contrary, Kissinger maintained that the U.S. aerial bombardment took place in parts of Cambodia that were essentially unpopulated. Kissinger was later found to have sabotaged peace talks between the U.S. and the Viet Cong while advising the Lyndon B. Johnson administration during the Paris peace talks of 1968 by passing confidential intelligence to the South Vietnamese government. Many thought it grotesque that Kissinger was awarded a Nobel Peace Prize in 1973 for negotiating the end of the war. 2. Supporting the removal of Chile's elected government with the aid of a dictator. Salvador Allende had been viewed as a threat to U.S. hegemony in South America long before he was elected as Chilean president in 1970, at a time when much of the continent was ruled by military dictatorships propped up by American support. The socialist leader implemented wide-ranging reforms to nationalize the country's copper mining industry, provide free health care and education to help lift the poorest out of poverty. He also re-established diplomatic ties with the Soviet Union and Fidel Castro's Cuba. The classified reports would later show that Kissinger led the Nixon administration's efforts to destabilize the country and spent millions on covert activities to undermine his government and protect U.S. business interests. Three years into Allen's rule, with the country facing record inflation and widespread strikes, a coup led by General Augusto Pinochet saw the overthrow of the democratically elected government. Kissinger denied any involvement or knowledge of the coup, although declassified documents later show that he and Nixon had branded Allende as a dangerous communist and laid the seeds for his overthrow. Allende was killed in the presidential palace on the 11th of September 1973, in what came to be known as the Other 9-11. A report by the Chilean government later found that 40,018 people were killed, tortured, or imprisoned on political charges during Pinochet's regime. 3. Bangladesh when war broke out in what was then known as East Pakistan in 1970, Kissinger and Nixon backed the military government of West Pakistan in its genocide in what would become Bangladesh. At the time, East Pakistan was a key U.S. ally in its geopolitical struggle against the Soviet Union and communist-leaning India. As the war spread and India became involved, the White House opted to back the slaughter by illegally transferring military hardware to the East Pakistan government. Independent researchers put the death toll at between 300,000 to 500,000 people, while Bangladeshi officials placed it as high as 5 million. 4. Argentina Kissinger provided U.S. support to the military junta of General Jorge Rafael Vidla after he overthrew President Isabel Perón in March 1976, according to State Department cables. This led to the infamous dirty war between 1976 to 1983, where Argentina's military rulers killed or disappeared between 10,000 and 30,000 citizens, many of whom were never heard from again. Secretary Kissinger secured $50 million in funding for the Argentine dictatorship from Congress. After leaving the White House, he attended the 1978 Football World Cup as a personal guest of Vidla. The horrors of military rule were exposed after Argentina elected democratic leaders again in 1983. Many political prisoners were dropped from helicopters into the Atlantic Ocean. Vidla was later convicted of torture, kidnapping, and murder, and died in prison in 2013.
After Kissinger's death, Bangladesh's foreign minister Abdul Momin condemned his role in violating all American laws, international laws to support Pakistani military junta and also supplied weapons to illegally occupying forces of Pakistan.